It's raining. It's late. Is this the first clip of the day? This is. Wow. This is us opening up the vlog even though it's 5.30 p.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> on a weekend. I've um, got a lot to do today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I edited the podcast this morning. And then, then did you edit? I edited the vlog. Then you started editing. Oh, then I made breakfast. Yeah. I made breakfast. Then I edited the podcast. You went on a run. Went on a run. The I vlog, was like, not good run. And the vlog took a little bit longer than usual. I don't think it took too much longer. It's just we started it later. But it's been a, like a busy, busy, like a busy bee morning. Mm-hmm. Um, Each taking a shift with Eve. Yeah. Because the other is productive. And now we're at Animal Kingdom. We're going to try to get some fun stuff done with the rain. But we're going to hopefully go see Jurassic World tonight. Because that was like the one, one of the major things I want to do this weekend. Yeah. I heard mixed reviews, but I'm optimistic about it because I love those movies. Look at that tree of life. I never think I've ever realized there's a waterfall in the front of it. Really? Yeah. We are headed to Dino Land first. Dino Is that Land. the plan? In a couple minutes, we got a dinosaur fast pass, and I'm feeling it. I feel like we haven't done Dino <laughs> Dinosaur in a while. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> I want to get cold. I want to smell like old test track, and I want to get scared. Yeah. Okay. That is a dinosaur. Okay, we came to visit. The humidity is making my hair feel crazy. <laughs> we came here to visit the replica of Sue that we talked about the other day in the vlog. Take a look. I never looked at this plaque before. In partnership with the Field Museum of Chicago. Yep. So this fossil cast is the exact replica of Sue, the most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton ever found. Named after her discoverer, Sue was found in South Dakota in 1990. Sue is my mom's name. You don't scare me. <laughs> You're back with one additional passenger, extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? I love this loading zone. I love how it smells like old test track. So right over there, the Dino Institute. The Dino Institute welcomes you. We were trying so hard to get a shot of oh. a shot of one of our buttons. Definitely not our Dino. That was the absolute last button design we ever released with my crazy bug. So I feel like we never talked about it or like posted a lot about it. Yeah, it was like released and website. It's like one of my favorites. Down. I know. So definitely, go, if you want to see it, you go to our website and check it out. But yeah. It's called Definitely Not Our Dino. And it looks very similar to that Dino Institute logo. Um, we're the only ones in our row, so we're sitting so far away because she's a little stinky. Just joking. I did. It's down there. Are you ready? I'm super nervous now that nobody's next to me. Usually I like lean towards Sarah. Oh my god, I've never seen these. I so dinosaurs, I was like a dinosaur kid. Like when I was a young boy, dinosaurs were my thing. I'm nervous 
I'm gonna drop it, I'm gonna let go. Uh, <laughs> me, did you love it? Um, me is with my mom. Yes. If you remember, my mom was the one that you, um, if you saw, she was the one yeah. um, getting met with Jack and Sally. Yeah, I'll put a link up in the corner when we met. This is Kayla, we met her mom at the Halloween party last year. And so now we're hanging out with them at Animal Kingdom. All righty, we're heading out. Miss Kayla is going to the Kennedy Space Center tomorrow. So she's going home to rest up and then we're gonna go to Disney Springs because we're gonna see Jurassic World. It's PG-13, so I can't see it. Oh, you're right. There's my mom, again. Mm-hmm. Chit-chatting with Peter. She's got a cute Mickey Mouse dress on. I know. But my wilderness explorer is back. Yes. Goodbye, Animal Kingdom. Goodbye. Wait, bye. Goodbye, Animal Kingdom. So we forgot to give you a little foresight into we were meeting up with some friends. Yeah. We didn't warn it because we didn't know exactly when, what time and where and how it was yeah. all going to look. Or if they wanted to be on camera. Yeah. But, but that was a lot of Kayla, fun. Once I was filming on uh, Primeval World. Are you filming on Primeval World? Yeah. Good. Um, so those are our two friends. Yes. We, we actually... met them at, at the Halloween. Well, that's the first time we had uh, ever met Kayla. Yeah, but Karen we met back in Halloween at, at, the, at the Halloween party. We met her and uh, her fiance. Yeah, they, we like talked about, we didn't actually include the clip, but we said like someone got engaged right, right in front behind, of us. Yeah, right in front of, well they were behind us in line and then we waited because one of the girls in front of them, who Ron told that he was going to propose, told us because yeah. they were waiting. So we waited and grabbed, like recorded it, didn't put it in the vlog, but then sent it to them afterwards so they could have it. Yeah. Um, so they, they got engaged in front of Jack and Sally last year at the Halloween party. Yeah. So that was cool. We haven't seen her since then. Yeah. So it's been a while because that was right after we moved here. Right. A lot of fun. But now, I need some Giardelli. I think we're going to go to Disney Springs and I think we're at a weird time. Um, it's like, what, 8.30? Mm -hmm. It's like 8.30ish but there's uh, a couple of different times for Jurassic World. But I, I need some Giardelli and I feel like a good basin wash. We haven't done that in a while. We are grand flirty in so many times this week. I know. And, and we didn't wash our hands it. once. So, got to make up for that. All right, we got our tickets for Jurassic World for 10.45, so we got an hour and 45 minutes to enjoy Disney Springs. But look how busy it is for a Sunday night, and look how busy. I think there's like a dance something going on. Oh, uh, look how busy Disney Styles is though. Like there was a, there was just like a calamity over there by the door of people trying to get in and out. Whoa. All the hip and new and cool stuff, oh yeah. Okay. Maybe Sarah and I just don't follow a lot of other like Disney social like like newsworthy social media things for Disney World, but um you should see what we see. World of, I don't know if this is like super new or it's not new and we just didn't know. But World of Disney's got a brand new sign up and it looks I like it. Yeah, I think so. I was real nervous about like how the, the aesthetic of World of Disney was gonna be. I wonder if it's open. No, it's not. It's not, but the new sign. Oh, baby, look at this. Look at that. That's how like those like temporary signs look. So I'm not surprised, but it's it's like I didn't realize it was gonna be a sign like that. And they're still not open yet. <laughs> oh, look at they had that World well, of Disney was not in front of Stitch before. Wow. Actually, the new World of Disney is also in Disneyland, so I wonder if it'll be similar to that. I know there's been people posting videos about that. Um, but regardless, nothing matters right now because when you become within 30 feet of this building, you must drop everything, all your diets. We gotta go. And then we're doing our routine. Caramel. Look at all those wrappers. I wish I had all those in my belly. You've been jonesing for a piece of chocolate. How is it? Hit the spot. Okay, we've never said this, but pecan pie is my absolute favorite dessert of all time. And this book happens to be open to a chocolate pecan pie. Oh my gosh. That looks like heaven in food form. Get your scrub on. Step one, moisten. I don't do that and Peter makes fun of me. Step two, shake your hands. <laughs> the container then says get a dime size amount. I get a quarter or sometimes a half dollar. Whoa. But the directions say a dime size. 
You tickle yourself because this is very ticklish. Just scrub between, do it between your fingers. Do it nice and exfoliated. Oh, I just lost my ring. Next up, because I don't know what number one, uh, you rinse your hands thoroughly moistening. Voila! Softest hands. Softest hands. Lance, softest hands in the land. Ooh. That one's ooh, nice. Ooh, these are all newer. Yeah. And they're good material for, for your birthday. For my birthday? I told Sarah we would do just perusing. No. Yeah. Ooh. We want to go to uh, Sugar Bear. Yeah, we're going to go to Sugar Bear. We're going back to Chicago Fourth of July. Ooh, Uncle Sam. <laughs> New arrivals. Little children size. Oh, these cute children. Something I don't know if we've actually talked about or not. There used to be a chicken fried chicken place here, and I really want it right now. I do too, that's not what I was gonna say. <laughs> what I was gonna say is, we walk like city people still, so when we're in the parks, like we like take everything in, but we just like walk fast. So it's just like really Disney hard Springs sometimes. It is uh, real busy. Yeah, and not everybody walks fast. So like, and so I feel time. like a lot of times when we're like with people in the park, I like have to tell myself like chill. Or if we're at Disney Springs like right now, like tell myself like try to not flat tire somebody. Like try, try to, not to like weave. Tree. Try not to weave too much, not just like in between people. But we're just used to all keep continuously bumping in this area because that's what I just keep <laughs> he doing. He does constantly. <laughs> Look at that little doggy. That little cute little thing. <laughs> It's got a cute little service vest on it in training. Oh, but it's Eve would freak. I to a point like she may freak so hard that she wouldn't be freaking. She would just be like stalled. Right. It's still guys. It is bumping. It is like ten. It's like people are. Ten thirty on a. It really is. That's really what it is. Like seeing the the like the outfits and the family dynamics and friends and stuff like that tonight at Disney Springs. It's. This is not locals anymore. This is vacation lifestyle. It's cool. I dig it. I like to. I, I feed off of all of their vacation energies. Here we go. Jurassic World. 15 minutes. I'm so excited. We're home. We didn't vlog any at Disney Springs because we were so excited to come back because yeah. we missed Eve. And after watching a whole movie about how Chris Pratt's and best friend <laughs> is a dinosaur, I was like the whole time I was like, that's Eve. That yeah. dinosaur's Eve. Eve would do that. That's what we do to eat. So you want to know how late it is. Um, I will only be getting a few hours of sleep. <laughs> Movie was really good. Um, hinted at a surprise to me at the end. It doesn't give anything with the story, really. Um, it kind of uh, hinted that there's a possibility, there's a way for them to make another movie. I don't know if they're going to or not, but... Um, and there's like a million different ways that they could do the next movie if they did one, but mm -hmm. that was cool. I'm a big fan of always, like I said earlier today, I'm a, you know, I was a, di I was a dinosaur boy growing up, mm -hmm. so my inner dinosaur boyness was was loving it and yeah. loved every minute of it, so I thought it was done well. I like um, a movie where you don't expect what's coming next. Yeah, that happened I, a lot. And I did not expect what was coming next, so. They did a good was, job for yeah, it being the wonderful. fifth installment of this, this franchise. It, it's kind of easy to repeat things like how like uh what was the star wars the title of the star wars that we just brought up force awakens oh, the force awakens kind of was very similar to, to yeah. other ones um that didn't happen in this one references to the references, old movies of course yeah. but not, we'll see not it. blatant copy i think it's worth seeing in the theaters i think so too yeah go check it out it's good to be home it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>